Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have the most exciting thing that is happening right now. I'm about to unbox one of six limited dolls, Bella Spring, by the amazing artist Tatiana Tofanetto. Mm -hmm. And say your name for me. Did I say it correctly? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's very exciting that I'm pronouncing it right. So that's great. Um, so I am like, I have been, if you've been following me on Instagram or YouTube, I've been sharing loads of photos of this doll because I am so excited about her. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go right in. Okay. So she is a porcelain BJD. And you guys may have heard me talk before about how I'm getting really like into porcelain BJDs because I really love the sustainability of them. I love that it's natural materials. I love that porcelain, the paint doesn't scratch. They're, in reality, would you say porcelain is more durable than resin? Like it's a better yes, kind of medium. I do believe so, Alison, mm -hmm. yes. And I just, I'm, I'm like, I'm loving, loving porcelain. Oh my gosh, look at mm -hmm. this. Now these are real, real EP flowers mm -hmm. from our tree. Wow. It's in our house. And we dry them to That's use amazing. on the box. That's amazing. This is so beautiful. <laughs> this is heirloom quality. Like, this is gorgeous. This is a wooden hinged box. So yes. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the box. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and when I saw, so I have been wanting one of Tatiana's dolls, porcelain dolls. You have seen her dolls before on my channel because I have three of them. But I've been wanting one of her porcelain dolls for a very long time. And when I saw you share this doll, we were, I, I told my husband, that's the one, I have to have that doll. And so I contacted her immediately and I was like, what do I have to do <laughs> to reserve a doll? So look at that, that is so, oh, look at this. The butterfly the with your doll. name, it's so beautiful. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's open her up and here. Oh, look at this. Okay, porcelain BJD created in partnership with nature limited edition And here are the photos. These are the photos. I fell in love with when I saw mm -hmm. you share them I said this is the doll. I have to have I have to have this doll How many of these are left? How many of three of them? So there's only three left three, yes. out of six. So I feel very fortunate. Thank you very much for allowing me <laughs> to get one. So, and here's her beautiful, look at this, the beautiful COA. We're just gonna savor every moment of this unboxing experience. Wow, she is so gorgeous. Let's actually see her now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at her. She is <laughs> phenomenal. Okay, I'm gonna turn the box towards me in just a second. I'm gonna let the cameraman do a little, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna pull her out. And while I'm pulling her out, can you talk about her dress a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, her dress is, it's really a dream coming true because I wanted to, represent the blue sky uh, actually the ip flowers which are yellow in contrast to the blue sky and i wanted to paint these on a doll dress so i had a friend who is a professional painter a silk painter and she did this wonderful job wow. and my cousin who is a professional uh, how do you say seamstress for mm -hmm, men mm -hmm. yeah. for men also uh, yeah. like a tailor maybe might be the right word. Yeah, yeah. he, he uh -huh. makes dress. He, he wow! Sews, and he uh, made the dress. Wow! Mm -hmm. That's incredible. It is just, and this is real silk. Okay, real silk. So let me her. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at. Let's fix her little. She got. She's traveled all the way from Brazil here to the states. A long journey too. Very long journey. Right here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> look at her. I, I will tell you guys this, the way porcelain feels in the hands, you just feel it and you feel, it's like to me, I, I really love wooden dolls too. Mm -hmm. When you feel them, you feel connected to like, 
like earth, you feel like grounded, you feel, does That's that true. make sense? Yes, I believe it's the connection because when you touch a porcelain doll, mm -hmm. you are connecting to the nature that's inside the porcelain. And the nature that is inside you is connected to the doll. So wow, it's precious, really. She is incredible. So can you tell me about the, the dream that you had about creating this doll and the collaboration with nature and, and how she came to be? Sure. Uh, so I'm, I was always in love with flowers and nature and trees Gosh. and I wanted to represent this nature, this beautiful uh, vision of the sky and the yellow flowers that we have when we look, we look at the sky and we see the yellow flowers. And um, I thought that I should create everything by myself that I should make the dress and paint the dress because that's what I wanted to do exactly this way. But then I, um, I really uh, understood that an artist uh, don't really need to do everything. An artist mm -hmm. needs to follow her or his heart. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And when you follow your heart, you finally receive the help you need to accomplish the dream, to accomplish wow. the project. And that's what happened with this doll. I found the right people to help me and finish this project. And she's like the representation of nature, really. The, the vision that you had for her, she is just, she is truly stunning. Mm -hmm. Like really, <laughs> truly stunning. And I, I just want to show you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift her skirt a little just to show everybody like how beautifully detailed and blushed she is just look at the she's just so gorgeous and suading on all those joints and she even has panties <laughs> she's so sweet and just I love how delicate the sculpt is here around the collar and then the collarbone and the neckline and her face is just beautiful I think I saw you say, but how many layers of paint are there on the just the face of the doll? Seven layers, about seven layers of paint. That's incredible. To finish a face painting. And tell me about the process of actually, because you had to create every single piece of this doll, right, in porcelain. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, we, we must first we sculpt the doll, so we use um, material like polymer clay, or some people use air dry clay. I like to use polymer clay to we sculpt uh, the doll, which is the prototype. After that, we then uh, cut the parts of the doll to make to separate everything, mm -hmm. and then she will become a, a BJD about joy the doll. After that, we create the molds in plaster. So the molds will uh, be uh, the most important thing in the creation of a porcelain doll because to create porcelain doll, you need a plaster molds. Mm -hmm. And then creating plaster molds for each part of the doll, then you have um, the construction, the beginning of the construction. Mm -hmm. Then you power porcelain on the molds, inside mm -hmm. the molds, and then it's finally porcelain. So it goes in the oven for about 10 hours wow. to finally uh, cure the porcelain mm -hmm. and then comes the painting part which is my favorite <laughs> she's so and the assembling with the yeah is the painting your favorite because that's when they kind of come to life you yeah, can see the exactly. character that's it. wow uh -huh. she's so when you bring a doll to life and and I wanted you to explain that because I think I know that I didn't understand this for years I think people need to understand and appreciate how much work goes into a doll of this caliber and a doll like this. She has poured every, the hand is one mold. This forearm is one mold. This joint is one mold. Yes. Each one of these is a separate mold that has to be done by hand, by the artist. When you think about all the hours of love and work and dedication and time that just goes into this 
this is just like I feel like I'm just holding such a very personal piece of art from you and a very personal part of your life and I just feel honored to have such an amazing piece like she's really incredible thank you and I feel so lucky because you have one of my dolls one more and so <laughs> special one like this. this yeah she when I saw her I knew I said this doll is just absolutely so incredible mm -hmm. so like we said there are three left yes and I will leave Tatiana's contact information in the video description below in case you're interested in reserving one of the three she's very wonderful to work with obviously I love her dolls and I was so thrilled when I found out she was coming to Florida I said okay look I'm gonna whatever I have to do can you bring the doll with you I will like we will meet and we can do this and oh I, I'm just so thank you so much for agreeing to do this You're and so welcome. oh my gosh I'm just like this has been the greatest trip ever I'm just so thrilled for me too <laughs> I'm so thrilled with her so thank you very much now the next video on this channel is going to be an interview with Tatiana so you can learn more about her so make sure that you're subscribed so you can check that video out next thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one thank bye you. bye i want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from patreon lindsay s leah w doreen z janice h mercedes w cindy k bear sunflower diane b kelly l shorna r stephanie w shalane c penny p louisa's knit knacks marty g lynn lynn p and cindy l your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!